Happy Monday, Realmers. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be doing a video going over the new world quests. Uh, before going anywhere, please hit the like button, support Rich's Realm. We will be posting a lot of Marvel Realm of Champions content. And uh, yeah, I've had a blast today. Uh, shout out to uh, to Hot Roost and to Les Mondo for the time we did this um, a little while ago. We did Heroic. I've done normal. I did auto queuing. I managed to do normal. But what I'm going to do in this video is go over the heroic side of things. The same strategies, hints, tips, and all that stuff will apply. I've probably put in the description as well a little breakdown of the notes that I took whilst playing out. So yeah, let's just kind of get into some of the footage. And I just want to point out before we go anywhere that the super soldier that I'm using in this is a 947 power rated super soldier. Uh, and it's surprising because I thought, man, this is trash because I haven't even had the time to grind up the components for all this nuke stuff you can see. I haven't upgraded a single thing. But anyway, let's roll the footage. Let's talk about the uh, tips, hints, tricks, and a guide to this particular game mode. On screen right now is a breakdown of some of those notes. As I said, I put in the description if you do want to check it out. So, yeah, different champions with Spidey. You want to use roots to stop movement. Enemy champions are going to come into that center crystal you want to keep in there and fine. Just utilize your kind of uh, your roots with your SP1, SP2 to slow down the enemy champion. Better with uh, weaponry that does that more. Uh, when it comes to cap, it's all about utilizations of stuns, SP2s, SP3s. And you want to use your cap towards the left hand side where the Hulk spawns because what you want to do is literally tank that Hulk. Make sure it stuns and doesn't move. That's going to be your priority. Over the right hand side, and that's something to mention, is where you should put your Web Warriors and your Iron Legionnaires. Take out that Meteor throwing Adaptoid, which you'll see in a moment. And as well, just like keep it suppressed. Use that SP2 in order to SP2 with the Iron Legionnaire on the right side first of all to use the cage, keep them and stop them moving. And then once you've done all the all the kind of smashing out there over the right side, use your flight the SP1 to fly over to the left hand side and help out those on the left. It's a great great strategy. From a team advice perspective, take out the range meteor throws of course, and then when you uh, you've done that as I said you know range splits comes over to the left hand side he helps to take down that Hulk which will be a problem the meteor throwers will literally launch stuff into the air over one side of the map hit the crystal and it's done for so you need to work quickly and then with the waves so as we said how you deal with the Hulk but when you deal with the, the storm wave seven just go to a smash it down take it down at the point of the three you then take the two, you go over the right hand side. So Iron Legionnaire and, um, and Web Warrior over the right hand side. Uh, do bear in mind if you're doing this with bots or auto queuing, you might have to make it up as you go along because it ain't easy. So I try and find some people to play with. They're looking for a group in Discord of Marvel Realm of Champions, you know, um, alliances. Tell people you need people. Right, final, final wave. Go for that storm. Take it down. Split. Get your cap to suppress the Hulk or get it, um, you know, busy with uh, with dealing with that. The main thing to say is keep yourself alive as much as possible. So try try and create distance. Be um, be an absolute wetty. Be a chicken and uh, and just try and like lead the enemy champions uh, away as uh, as much as you can from from like stuff that's going on. So. You don't want the Hulk and the other Adaptoids going towards your crystal. So try and just like go to the farther edges of the map in order to be suppressed. But let's see this all in action. Let's roll the footage. Right, now on screen at the moment, this is kicking off me playing as Iron Legionnaire. But as again, like showcasing this amazing strategy. Shout out again to, uh, to Hot Roost and to Les Mondo for their time. Uh, playing about of ideas, strategies and, and, and stuff like that. It's great. Yeah, left hand side we've just seen dealt with. But the verse first starting waves, it's left, right, and then after that it's split. So we can see here in action, my uh, my Iron Legionnaire has gone over to the right hand side from the left hand side. As I said, the first two waves, left, then it's right. So from there it's fine, and then it splits. I've gone over to the left hand side. This is very very early on when we're learning, um, you know, what works, what doesn't, and me coming over to the left, kind of like. It just felt down the line that it didn't really work, but um, it just depends on who you got on your team, the strength of them. My Iron Legionnaire is pretty good, my Web Warrior is pretty good on their power rating, but my Cap isn't. But it showcases like you know how that worked being over the left hand side with Cap, and then using my Iron Legionnaire to fly between different things. So you can see right now, 
I'm still sticking over the left hand side. It would have been, it's actually kind of unwise for me to be on the left hand side for this because I should have been over to the right hand side and dealt with that projectile firing um, meteor adaptoid. So that's, that's a bit of a bad mistake for me because it's a case that um, I've still left that other uh, adaptoid al alive. So it's good to show these mistakes because like you see like the web warrior is not able to deal with that solo. It's not a tank champion. So there's nothing of project, project, uh, protecting of a shield. Now, I think it's only like part way through. I mean, I'm even there. Like, I, I don't know why. I'm, I think I'm kind of like, I am again, like, uh, wrong to be over this side. Especially because the, as I said, the ability to kind of keep suppressed that Hulk is, it's, it's possible with one cap. I did it with a lower power rated cap. Now, I'm putting myself between that and the, um, it's not crystal, it's kind of a signal of some kind. So I'm trying not to get my, I'm trying to like make sure I'm taking the damage. So I've placed him down there like the electric cage because I'm hoping that the enemy champion would kind of go over and get slowed. Unfortunately it didn't, but that's the problem. I've also lost a lot of health, but that's fine because you can get, as you can see, we've got KO'd here. I've got to be honest, this is probably my first game of the day and it's not good. When we get to the web warrior and the cap fight... I've I've kind of, I've suddenly kind of woken up when it comes to play playing the game a little bit, but in any case, the problem that we've got at the moment is one fifty seven percent. Now, if you want the objective, you're going to have to keep this fifty percent alive. I'm throwing everything. I'm throwing a kitchen sink. I know now the the the, fire, the, the, the percentage that needs to be done fifty four percent. We've got four percent to play with now, so it's now going to be a case. What am I going to do? Well, focus fire on the storm first and foremost, taking that champion down as much as possible. This is a problem because now, like, we're, we're down, but, you know, it's taking out this meteor firing champion. Still 54%. So on the right hand side, is it um, Hot Royst has, has done an amazing job suppressing the meteor throwing champions. And now we've just got a Hulk situation, which I'm trying to slow him down as much as possible, which is working. And as well, uh, amazing work from Les Mondo with the cap. We get the win. We've got 54%. Very tight. We've done better. But that is the first game with the Iron Legionnaire. But using the utilization at that electric cage to slow down en enemies is important. But as well, I could have done better by leading champions away from the situations, which you're going to see more with the cap, I want to say, and uh, than anything. So anyway, starts off the match as always. Left-hand side, right-hand side, and then you split. So wave one, left hand side, wave two, right hand side, and then after that you split. I really wish I had some more damage with um, some of my uh, other champions, but my web warrior is geared to a, I think got Realm Reaver. So when champions are below 50%, I start kind of really putting in some good damage. So I would say it's it's all right. It's, it's a good good enough champion. It helps out, you know, there we go. Just like hitting up some good numbers. Uh, and that was good. Now we're, now we're on to the split and I'm not moving because now now things are working out well. We get the electric cage firing off pretty well. And you can see now SP1's just been launched. I'm not sure who that was by. Then go over the left hand side. So that's um, Les Mondo. Amazing work. Goes into that uh, the flight. Goes over to the left hand side to then start working on the others. He gets there before I do. Uh, unless I get the double evade and I just go swipe swipe. And then over and do my business. Getting a little bit of health just on there, so I'm in, just trying to, like, I'm absorbing damage at the same time, like, health-wise. Tried to do the evade, didn't really, didn't really work. Grabbing some extra health, hitting over to the right-hand side, and now it's just a case of getting around the back to focus fire on that uh, that champion. That's what I'm trying to do. The aims took me, the aim took me, like, in the wrong direction, but still, the Meteor flight Firing Champion Adaptoid is down, so I can then focus fire my attention elsewhere. So that's what we're doing, going over to the left hand side, but um, uh, amazing work and um, just a case of like grabbing as much health as possible. So that's really what we're trying to do, grab as much health as possible and then we're ready. So then what's next? Well, again, same split over to the right hand side for me with the web warrior. This is utilization better. I think there was a tip from uh, one of the lads, I think it was Hot Roy said, um, yeah, if you split across to the right and then the Iron Legionnaire can then fly back. And that's something that, you know, it's, it's important to learn that, just to feed off of other people what they're saying. I don't know what happened there, it's kind of like a weird kind of throw. I think he was unstoppable actually. So that's annoying because I wanted to suppress the movement and I'm trying best I can, we'll slow him down. Yes, excellent focus fire there. Excellent focus fire, and uh, I think the Iron Legionnaire came back because he was knocked out. 
So we're back. We're all ready to go. Uh, one more wave after this. Again, amazing work from, from the lads here. And that's the thing. Caps need to suppress the hulks as much as possible. Uh, repeat those stuns. SP2s, SP3s. Repeat those stuns as much as possible. Make sure they don't move. So there's a good split being done now because... Um, you know, it just makes more sense. One champion left. If there's one one adaptoid left, then split. Especially now. Look at the situation. It's a, it's a case that... And smart move there. The Iron Legionnaire takes the enemy Hulk right to the far left. Suppressing any kind of movement. I'm trying to do a bit of damage. Waiting for the Unstoppable to go. Drag back SP2. And then SP1 in order to root in place. Picking, choosing my times to do the SP3, and there we go. So, Electric Cage has been thrown down to stop the enemy movement. SP2 there. I'm trying not to get too close as well, because I don't want to lose health dramatically. We've still got one more round, and I don't want to be knocked out. Because if I got knocked out, then I have to wait 10 seconds. If I went 10 seconds, then chances are I might have missed the respawn of the um, the, the new champions, or it be bang on time. But it's a risk factor. Now, I go far, far right. This is actually a, a kind of a mistake. I say it's a mistake. It is pretty much a mistake. But I wanted to suppress these Meteor Throne champions. But I don't think, I don't think it was a wise idea. Especially because the Storm's still alive, you know. And so is the Hulk. So, I mean, look, at the end of the day we get the win. So if it's stupid and it works, it's not stupid. But I just kind of feel like I shouldn't have, I should have focused via the Storm. But it worked. It, it worked. We're all alive. It's fine. And nearly, nearly would have been 100%. So that's... That with uh, with Web Warrior, and that showcases some of the examples there. But I would say, as I said, the method as I put in this video is probably the best method to do where you uh, do the split. This is really and can be seen in the next in the next fight, which is my very low, very low cap. My cap is like a 928 power rating, as nothing upgraded, and isn't exactly brilliant. This is our second attempt, and I was like. Man, I've got to utilize this Hulk, uh, this Hulk, this cap as much as possible. So uh, I was like, I cannot get, I don't have any components. I'm not able to get this champion ranked up and ready to go. I mean, it's ranked up, but it's the gear. The gear is kind of a bit trash. But still, I've got those stuns. And that's what I need to be as an assistant uh, to the lads, is I need to make sure my left-hand side, I'm suppressing. So we're getting a heavy attack up. We're taking some, we're absorbing some damage that at least helps out any kind of potential um, damage limitation. And uh, I don't know what happened. Oh yeah, that's it. I had a bit of a kind of a rush of kind of like uh, poop to the brain then because I was like, what am I doing again? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm meant to be kind of suppressing these guys. Amazing with the stun. Like, could I have timed that better? Possibly. But I did what I needed to do. I slowed up them coming towards the, um, uh, I, I don't know what this is, like a, it's like a satellite thing it's a, it's a satellite so i saved the satellite and and this this is the thing with this i need to grab health as much as possible because i'm losing it my gear is so weak man it's so weak but um yeah look it is what it is and that's what i'm doing slight mistake here i only then realized then drag them away richard drag them away from what's going on that's what I'm trying to do. I'm slowing up play. I'm keeping myself alive. I'm keeping them focusing me. But at the same time, I'm taking them away from attacking the uh, the satellite satellite dish. So they're going to go down. I've got all three specials up. I need health badly because this is going to be a Hulk fight, he says. Yes, it is. It's going to be a Hulk fight coming up. So I need to, I need to move. I'm annoyed that the champion kind of like got away. And here's the problem. I rush in and I actually get hit. That's 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 annoying. That annoyed me because I was like, you silly person. You should have saved your evade or your dash and you should have dashed to dash against them, away from them and tried to help as much as possible. But we're back in. I'm going to look to like utilize my um, SP2. We then had an SP3 from the uh, from Spidey. Spidey's been knocked out. I need to keep myself alive and also I need to get between my, myself and the satellite and do damage. But at the same time, I should have just I should just led Hulk away. Providing he would have focus fired in the correct way. So that's really the thing. I'm going to go across the left hand side as I normally do with a cap. And we're going to again suppress. we we'll do that. And then this is where it's better. I'm playing a little bit better. I'm trying to drag the Hulk to the left hand side. This means that that and the Adaptoid are focusing on me far left rather than anything. I'm a bit annoyed because the Adaptoid went away from me. But luckily the lads have finished off their right side to then focus and help me out on the left hand side. Thank the Lord, um, that it was uh, quick 
and concisive uh, action there. I get knocked out, but this isn't too bad because both the lads are there. Their, their, their gear's a lot better than mine. They're keeping them alive. I'll be back in time for the wave finishing, which is great. Unfortunately, down to 80%. <laughs> 80% on the um, on on the satellite. It's not good. We got 30% to play with. If you want the objective, you have to keep 50% of the health on the satellite up. If it's not up, you don't get the extra objective. Anyway, starting off, focus fire. Do the stun first off. Champion can't throw the SP2. Unfortunately, he does. I get frozen, but I'm being focus fired, which again is brilliant. I'm about to go into my SP3, which is that. We've also had the Web Warrior go over to the far right-hand side and deal with the Meteor throwing Adaptoids, which is good because only 3% of the health was taken off. Thank God for that because uh, it's a bit big risk. I'm drawing the Hulk away. Good strategy. Unfortunately, the Hulk ducks away at the last minute, which is very frustrating. And I'm still working well with this kind of focus firing element. I'm trying to wait for my special attack to come up. But unfortunately, the Hulk dashes backwards and I'm like right there. So like, there's nothing I can do about that. And we pick up the win, and that was um, that was great work. So uh, fantastic shout out to uh, to Hot Royst and to Les Mondo for their time and kind of like uh, strategies and stuff. And yeah, still surprised that this low <laughs> this low gear that I've got to do work on. It's my, one of my next projects is to work on my uh, Super Soldier, but I'm working on a few other champions at the same time. Really love my Black Panther, and especially with next week and the. Um, and the event changing, I'm going to be needing that more than ever. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, really looking forward to uh, to more content posting. I'm going to do a big rewards up up the opening um, today or tomorrow. So look out for this kind of video. Really excited to post that. And uh, yeah, hopefully this guide has helped people out. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye bye.